let's just share some ideas and thoughts um, that we haven't practiced. But it, and in fact, we never practice any of this, so uh, that may be painfully obvious. Yeah, but let's, <laughs> let's 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 talk about this 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 subject of being specific and setting the right expectations. So, uh, Danny, in your mind, when when somebody is talking to somebody on a Skype call or a Zoom call or a Meet call, and we're we're setting up their daily plan or their weekly plan, what are some of the key elements to making sure that what I'm saying that they're getting, and that's actually what they're going to go do. What are some of your, your tricks or tips for that? Well, Vaughn, I come from a world of, of over-documentation, right? In the aerospace, we, we document everything. And I, I think uh, that can be nauseating at times in, in regular business and other kinds of businesses. But in this case, I think there's some value to, you know, making sure that the notes are captured, the minutes are captured in writing and shared. Mm. Uh, because, uh, again, there could be differences in inter interpretation of what the task was. Hopefully the timeline is pretty clear. If you say, I need this by tomorrow, um, you know, if, if that's not clear enough, then you say, I need it by tomorrow at two o'clock. Um, and so, you know, getting that kind of specificity and getting it documented and then getting it shared afterwards. Uh, if you already have vehicles for sharing documents live, like Google Docs or whatever, then that can be there. Um, project management software like Asana, which is free uh, up to a certain number of licenses, you can, you know, you can have all that stuff captured and everybody can see it in real time, I think is, is probably a good way to go. Yeah. And, you know, Tony, as, as he was, as Danny was sharing that, I was thinking about smart goals. Uh, isn't that just one of the best tips ever to making sure that people understand uh, what they're going to do and when they're going to do it and who's going to do it? Yeah, I mean, we all, we've all been using that forever, and, and I think it's more important now uh, if, just to ensure that the clarity of the message is there. And, um, and for me, it's, it's always been about documentation. If, if I have information documented, and, and not because I don't trust anybody, but just because there's just so much going on, especially now, and there's so many different distractions out there. So I think it's critical that to have uh, whatever the expectations are documented with some specific timelines and everything else that goes with, with accomplishing a task. So. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, another kind of subset of that is, and when you said distractions, it, it, it made me think about, um, you know, I think it should be a standard if I'm on a call with my direct reports that everybody's got their camera on so I can see the whites of their eyes and they're paying attention because if you're allowing folks to join your meetings without the camera on, God knows what they're off doing, just listening in the background, and they may be missing some of these specifics that you're that you're looking to get accomplished from them, right? Yep. Yeah. So, um, uh, thanks, guys. Great discussion. Hope everybody got a few tips out of that. We'll be talking to you later.